of resistance around the world are weeded out. Mir-12 proves difficult at first, but with the TMD by your side, they do not stand a chance. In the years that follow, tensions build within the ruling Russian dictatorship. Your knowledge of advanced weaponry and control of the TMD allows your support to grow. Some believe you are more powerful than Chancellor Demichev himself. Demichev recognizes this and begins a secret weapons development program in the former United States. There are even rumors he's created his own TMD. Conflict seems inevitable as the world once again finds itself in the midst of a cold war between two superpowers. Yeah, okay, so we had me and the... Well, let me skip! There you go. So me and Demichev, you know, ended up taking over the world, but inevitably... You know, it was still a power struggle between me and him. And I believe it's just the three endings, if I'm not mistaken here. So, of course, you know, there's the, uh, that good ending, I guess you'd call it. Um, where, you know, we went back in time and we killed ourselves. Would you shut up, bear off? I am talking here. Um, we, we went back in time, we stopped ourselves by killing ourselves. Which stopped Barisov from living past, you know, what he normally should have. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, whatever. Um, and then, of course, with that one, with us taking out Barisov, uh, we just freaking dominated the world. But now. We're gonna find out what happens when no one's left but ourselves. There's no time! See? For asking. Christ. I'm not. All that effort to destroy the singularity when all I had to do was simply rebuild. Yeah, you're you're good. No, give me the deal. No, it's mine. We're missing. You're missing something. We can figure it out. We can still set things right. Yeah, shut him up. Victors rewrite the history books, and you lost. Nope. Shut your armpit that time. Only the victors rewrite the history books. That's it! The singularity is not the problem! You went back in time and saved Demichev from being killed in the burning building. Remember? Ooh, excuse me. I just wish you could skip right ahead to the choice, but oh well. No big deal either way. He's what you changed. And he's what you have to change back. Back. Let Demichev live. <laughs> it won't work. You've already tried that and failed. Don't you remember who else was there, Captain Renko? That other man was <coughs> <you. coughs> out the anomaly, which means <coughs> Oh crap that hurt it's for you to stop yourself. You mean kill him. Mm. You're asking a man to sacrifice himself for something you've been mistaken about. How many times now? I'm not sure you're a reliable authority, Beresov. Renko, don't listen to him. You can save the world! So you say. But Captain, think about what you were before all of this. A drone in the hive. I can offer you a whole other life. Things you could only imagine. Oh. At your fingertips. Give me the TMD. Mm -hmm. And help rule. That's a nice gun. Can I have that gun? 
I want the gun. The gun. How much blood came out of you? No visionary leader is without his critics. Winkle, he is not a leader. He's a mass murderer, a dictator. No, not a doctor. You just play one on TV. Use the TMD embassy. Right? Travel back in time and kill yourself. Kill yourself. Well, that certainly sounds like an attractive offer. Or you can prove your loyalty to me by killing Beresov. And I will grant you unlimited power. Make your choice, Captain. Okay. Eeny, meeny, miny, bam. Oh my god. No, Captain. Yeah. I'm... With Dr. Beresov and Chancellor Demichev dead, the knowledge of E99 and Katorga 12 dies with them. You disappear and become a legend in the years to come. Most believe you never existed in the first place. The whereabouts of the TMD are unknown. Weeks pass before the bodies of Demichev and Beresov are discovered. The murders are never solved. The death of Chancellor Demichev was the first step in ending Russia's grip on the world. The USSR quickly dissolves into feuding factions all vying for power. Wars erupt across the globe as casualties rise into the millions. With their newfound freedom, Mir-12 grows in strength and influence. While they continue their fight against the Russian military, they also begin a manhunt for Dr. Beresov's murderer. To this day, they have been unsuccessful. With the TMD removed from Katorga 12, the singularity destabilizes. A massive explosion destroys the eastern coast of Russia and stretches as far as the prison state of Alaska. A group of Katorga 12 creatures escapes to the Russian mainland and overruns New China. There are rumors of a secret army taking over parts of the former United States. Their leader remains a mystery, but is said to be ruthless, laying waste to all who stand in his way. It is believed his plans involve world domination. His following grows every day. Some claim he is able to summon incredible power, as if he controlled the hand of God himself. Okay, so with that, I'm pretty sure that's it for the endings. If not, I'll come back and make sure uh, that it's all taken care of, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, and now, out of the three endings, I think I like um, probably that last one the best. I I like I liked it the most. I think just because you know your character disappears and he's kind of just this living legend, almost like you know Big Boss from Metal Gear. Um. Although, of course, you know, the, the downside of that is, well, the Singularity has one hell of a massive explosion. And, you know, just wrecks at the east coast of Russia and such, and monsters get out, and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, at the same time, you know, apparently it sounds like we're making our own little army and such. Or becoming our own powerful entity again. I, I kind of like that the best, of course. Because um, with the first ending we did, where we actually where we had a cutscene and where the game almost kind of started over, um, I didn't like that one so much, just because I guess it felt like Beresov screwed us over. But yeah. Um, but it, so this is Singularity, guys. I'm, I'm really glad I got a chance to play it for you. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was really fun. And of course, you know, this is just one of many underdog games that I'll be playing. Um, this is another one done. I don't know what else, what I'm going to be playing next exactly. You know, I've been picking up a lot of games. Like, uh, let me see, I've got a couple right here. I picked up, uh, Lost Planet. Uh, I got Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. I, I don't know if I'm going to do that for the channel. I don't, I don't think so, just because with the Metal Gear games, the, the controls are so weird, it takes a lot of getting used to. And, uh, XCOM The Bureau. I might do that one next, actually. 
uh, I've played through the XCOM games, you know, Enemy Unknown and Enemy Within. Really like those. I do want to do that for the channel because those are fun. But that'll be a little bit because that can be a longer game. Hey, <laughs> Soviet Bear. Um, but I might do that one because it's not the same. It's a uh, it's more of a third-person tactical shooter game, so we'll see. Um, I also picked, I think I mentioned it before, I picked up Killer is Dead, but before I do that, I'll probably be doing some of Grasshopper, I think it's Grasshopper's other games, or Suda51, I can't remember who did what, um, like Lollipop Chainsaw, and um, Shadows of the Damned. Um, that'll be a good one, but just like this one, it, it's got its fair share of just difficult sections or pain in the ass sections. Um, but we'll deal with that whenever we get to that. But uh, anyway, so yeah, this is Singularity. Again, I thought it was really, really fun. I really wish it had got more attention. Um, I mean, mind you, yeah, it. as far as the story goes, it's kind of wishy-washy, I suppose. Because things don't really, you know, certain things shouldn't still be the same when we go back and we change things and kill some dudes because, you know... You, you, you go back in time, you kill one man, God knows you're, you're probably going to change the course of history for thousands of people. Um, but yeah, besides that, I thought the game was really good. Always thought it was good, and I always wanted to just, you know, get it out, especially now that I do this stuff. Um, so I'm glad I finally got a chance to do that. Um... Yeah, this singularity. And again, I don't know what to do next just yet. Um, kind of at a loss right now. Because again, like I said, I did pick up some other games. Let me see. So, that'll be another one for the channel. Uh, but yeah, just right now, I don't know. I don't know. It'll be coming up shortly, though, that's for sure. Because we still got Dragon Age Origins to go through. Then Dragon Age 2 uh, in a little bit. I'm not sure when I'll get to actually starting Dragon Age 2. It'll probably be near the end of Origins, though. But with Origins, I mean, there's the main game, and then there's all the DLC, which can lock it in for almost another... Which is really impressive. Um, yeah, so we've got that. What else do we have? Let me see. I do need to get back to Dark Souls, of course, and I will. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, Spec Ops the Line. That's going to be one hell of a good one to do. That's a third-person military shooter, but... It, it, it's got some interesting twists. It's kind of like... It, it's like if you took... Um, a, just a regular third-person shooter game and then... You know, took... Fight Club and put it in there. That's what it's like. It's really fun. So that'll be another one to do. Oh, Lord. Oh, and then there's Warhammer 40k Space Marine. That's fun. I've never gotten through that game entirely. So that'd be good. I mean, a lot of these games that I've picked up, 
some I've played and not gone through all the way. Others um, I just haven't even played yet. Like I'm waiting for, I'm waiting to play Killer Is Dead for the channel because I haven't played it, and I really do enjoy playing games that I haven't touched or beaten. So that'd be good. Just because you know, with, with Singularity, it's you know. With Singularity, it was nice to be able to play for the channel, but I partially think it would have been better had I not had uh, knowledge beforehand about it, of course. But whatever. Like, you know, one, for example, is uh, Lost Planet. Oh, and there's another one. I picked up Dead Rising. That's that's one. Maybe that. Maybe I need to get to some zombies. Some actual zombies. It's some crazy bullshit that involves them. Um, because for Dead Rising, I know I'd want to do something pretty similar to everything else where, you know, like with Assassin's Creed and uh, Dragon Age and all that, where I play through all of it. Um, you know, dra so it'd be like, you know, Dead Rising... Dead Rising, uh, K-Zero, 2, Case west uh, all that, you know, all that extra stuff. And Dead Rising 3, which I was actually really happy about. I played through that all the way. I, the game turned out to be a lot better than I imagined, but anyway. So is this it for the credits? It is. Alright, let's, uh, skip this. It's not gonna be anything new. Um, but yeah. So that's it, guys. Yeah. Uh, last time I'll see it for this video. Thank you again for watching. Um, and when we come back, um, I don't know which game I'm, I'm going to be doing exactly. I, I've kind of got my pick of the letter here. Uh, it might be a zombie game. It might be another underdog game. It's more likely going to be an underdog one, though. Um, I, I'm not sure, though. But anyway, guys, um, I will catch you in the next video. So stay tuned. Alright, bye-bye guys.